Hey guys, so I just wanted to come in really quick and talk to you guys about Notion and what I have been doing and whatever. So recently I've been really revamping the way that I schedule, revamping the way that I do systems and function and everything. Um, I have a lot more things that I'm juggling and a lot more things I want to get done. And I've always been really looking for like a all-in-one space where I could really do more, you know, I guess uh, track more, do more without having to handle like a million different apps. We were using Trello for ideas, we were using Slack to communicate, we were using Google Drive, we were using D Dropbox. I was using Bear for note-taking and was using uh, digital notebooks as well as physical notebooks, bullet journals. You have too many places to check, so you're not actually organized. Which is really frustrating, like I've been really trying to purge the amount of apps that I need to use on a daily basis. So what has helped me to do that is Notion. So I do a combination of Notion and written digital notes. So the digital notes go into my little iPad and I do that um, daily but like the background planning, like all the stuff that I want to refer to, anything that I'm going to be referencing later or long-term planning goes into Notion. I also use it to track my finances, which I want to talk about later, maybe in another video on my personal channel, because I had been looking for something to track my finances for like ages, forever, for never, ever. <laughs> and I finally found something that kind of works for me. In this video, I'm going to sit with you guys and actually create my first language spread, my first page fully about language and uh, all of my goals and little tasks that I can do to kind of somewhere that I can reference back and know, okay, I have half an hour, what's a task that I had wanted to do that I could finish in half an hour so I don't have to like plan everything then, you know? There's this quote that I saw um, really planning saves you so much time in the long run more than you realize so yeah let's all take a moment and set up things and uh, this program by the way used to cost money um, it used to cost like 40 bucks a month no, no no not that much like 25 I don't know something expensive a month so I was like Ooh, you know I saw some of my favorite youtubers using it and then I couldn't use it and I was really stressed out about it but but uh, it's free now for private use. So what are you doing? You all should have it. <laughs> First of all, Notion is both a phone app and a website you can access on any device fully and immediately synced across devices. It's like a thing for a bunch of pages, within pages, within pages, <laughs> that you can organize all your stuff. You can do practically everything in this app, it's so intuitive, like, like well, I sound like I'm sponsored, but I'm so not, unfortunately. <laughs> I won't go through every single thing today because I want to focus on the language aspect, but um, you guys can let me know if you want a full Notion tutorial in the future. Here are the main things. You press this little, uh, um, what do you call this, a uh, hash, hashtag, hash, no slash thingy and then you get a bunch of options basically every feature is found in here with the exception of templates which you can find after um, you make a page there even is a little preview so you can see it and it gives you the gist of what each thing is play around with these it's the best way to learn you can drag things around and change how things look, create lists, bullet lists, tables, Kanban views, etc, etc. Also, Notion just updated um, recently, like maybe a few days ago, for inline emojis and styling. So cute. Um, that's one of the things that makes this company so awesome is that they have an Instagram page that shows all of the updates for like what goes on. Love that. Love it a lot. yeah so here we go <laughs> um basically i tried to think about the things that i 
need to reference so like i said before i didn't want something that would have daily tasks or something that would show what i would do every single day because i think that i'm the kind of person who needs a little bit of self-reliance like i need to um kind of plan my things daily otherwise i get bored or frustrated with everything that i pre-plan so using notion i did try to think of stuff that's really specific like if i have half an hour or even two hours and i'm like where should i start i should be able to look at this page and be like let's start here or oh yeah i had this thing and whatever and i can add other random things that i might think of at any time so i made you know these little lists um for each one and it actually took me a long time to think of each of these um because it's so easy to be like okay study mandarin or study korean but it is so hard to like really just be like okay yeah let's study this specific thing or i want to study this specific problem like which is one of the reasons why doing this planning bit is so important so that you can you know think about these things um beforehand so that you don't have to waste like 10 minutes trying to think or sort through your millions of beautiful resources and stuff that you spend waste time collecting <laughs> i mean waste time is a you know that's relative but okay so then there's this picture and this picture totally gave me such a hard time i i don't know i knew i wanted some kind of inspiration so that's whenever i look at the page i'm like ah oh, yes this page you know and i would feel good about it and maybe like i don't know it would help improve my mood for studying or like make me feel more motivated so i wanted a picture there but i don't know it just wouldn't fit in like the way that i wanted it to or like i didn't like the colors of the first picture i chose um it was a little bit too would say it was a bit too like bright orange or something so i wanted something more mellow and but at the same time like encouraging i don't know how to say that yeah i also forgot um thursday but you know whatever <laughs> um yeah so i thought i would give myself like a little idea like okay sunday monday tuesday i could do this language or that language but once again i don't want it to be set in stone so it was more like a reference like if i couldn't decide what then i would just go with whatever I wrote here, you know? The last bit, I was wondering if I really wanted to put this or not, but I thought I would put it because, like, personally, I have a really, like, interesting concept of what fluency is and what I feel about my personal levels in different languages because there are some people who have, like, C1, C2, JLPT, and one or topic six and they can't speak and they're not nuanced and the 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 way that they talk sounds so foreign and clumsy and i mean which is not a bad thing but it's just that like i don't know if i would gauge myself lower in a certain level than another person who just has a higher test score than me because i haven't really taken tests before so but i decided to do this bit anyway because i wanted to kind of give myself an idea of where i am and where i want to be and so it's not really about other people's standards but more about my personal standards and what i think where i think i am and where i think i could be That's it for today's video and we hope that you enjoyed it and it was helpful for you. We produce these free videos with your support, so if you want to know how to become a patron, you can check the description down below or you can search on patreon.com slash livelovelang. Get your free templates and vocabulary lists on our website, gladlyglobal.com. Why are you waiting? It's free! Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell.
<laughs> Comment down below, show us some love, and we will see you in the next video. Bye! Bye.